everybody, welcome back to the Medical Projects YouTube channel. If you are new around here, welcome. I am Olivia and I am a second year medical student. And here on the Medical Projects YouTube channel, we create content to help you get your dream spot at medical school. So I'm here to offer you all of the tips I've learned and hopefully aid you in making that application process that little bit easier. So if you like the sound of this channel, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we post. Also make sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts. We're constantly posting on there and interacting with you guys and we're always happy to take any questions you might have. Now before we start the video I do want to remind you all that we are hosting a very very exciting giveaway and this will occur once we hit 2,500 subscribers. We are so thankful for all of the support we've received on this channel. It has been incredible and you guys are amazing and it's just been an absolute pleasure to make these videos for you and so we want to say thank you for all of the incredible support. So we are giving away two separate prizes and these are incredible opportunities to get your hands on. The first is a spot on our GP live course and this is an incredible virtual work experience opportunity which is delivered live from our studio and you'll be talking with real life doctors and learn how to take a patient history and all the necessary communication skills that are so important in medicine. The second is a spot on our ward round live course which is again a similar thing but it gives you a bit more of a flavor of hospital style medicine. We understand that work experience opportunities are very limited at the moment and this is a fantastic substitute. So to be in a chance with winning these prizes what you need to do is fill out our form which will be released when we hit 2,500 subscribers so make sure you check back here. I'll write in the comments when it's live and we'll make sure to notify you guys but we want to say a big thank you once again and let's get on with the video. So many of you will be securing your spots at medical school now or many of you may be just thinking what is medical school like you know what is my first year going to be like is it as hard as everyone says it is are the hours as long as everyone says it is will i have a life so i thought today i would talk you through a typical week in the life of a first year medical student using my real life timetable that i had last year so everything you're getting is a hundred percent factual i you know i endured these hours i endured these long hours and i'm going to talk to you about what first year was like, what kind of things you'll be getting up to, and just what you can kind of expect from medical school. I'm also going to try and include lots of different clips I have from year one so that you can get a taste of what this really looked like. I went into those lectures so full of hope and enthusiasm and, you know, I was ready for it and honestly bless my heart. <laughs> so before I talk you through my timetable I want to talk to you a bit about how medical school is kind of structured in general because most universities abide by this similar structure and so you have your pre-clinical years so that is kind of learning the basic science that underpins medicine. You'll be learning your anatomy, your physiology, basically all the things that are necessary to understand how the human body works and how it can go wrong. And then you move on to your clinical years and these are basically the years where you're putting into practice everything you've learned and you learn how to diagnose and manage patients and you're just on the ward for real and putting these practical skills into practice with real life patients and this is an incredible opportunity and you'll be doing things like going into hospitals you'll be going into GPs so most universities choose to do year one and year two as your pre-clinical years you'll probably get a small amount of placement throughout and then in year three to five that's when you usually are just on placement so you spend more more time in the hospital than you do at university. However, in my university at King's, we actually are put onto placement in year two. It's a bit different from a lot of other universities because usually you don't have placement that early, but that's just something to bear in mind when looking at my timetable. So I'm gonna pick a random week because all the weeks were pretty similar. So let's start. So Monday the 18th of November 2019 are oh, those sweet pre-pandemic days. So I actually happened to start at 10 o'clock on this Monday, which is pretty nice. So at 10 o'clock I had assessing healthcare priorities 
and this was an online session. In Kings, we had a lot of our content delivered online, even in pre-pandemic days, and that was just because we had a lot of material, so I don't think they could coordinate having us in lectures all day. It came under the module Healthcare in the UK, so that was teaching us about the NHS and how it's structured and all those kind of things, so that was what that was. Then at 12 o'clock, I had recognition of an unwell patient, and this was basically a form of clinical skills. So in first year, we did this thing called interprofessional learning, and that was where we got together with nursing students, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and we just worked together to take care of patients in various scenarios. So this was really, really fun. You basically have a scenario, you'd learn how to fill out a new score, what you might prescribe, some of the like A to E assessments you would be doing on these patients. Also, it's madness because in these sessions, you have these kind of mannequins. You know they're not real, but they do everything a real person would do. Like they can blink, they can talk, and there's someone in a control room that can kind of control what's going on with the patient so they can program it to have a certain disease or have a certain heart rhythm, for example. So these sessions were always really fun and I really, really enjoyed them. Then between three and five, I had two lectures on anatomy. Year one is very anatomy heavy. Do I remember much of my anatomy? No. I had a lecture on the intestines and the rectum and anal canal. So lovely topics. <laughs> I think in year one, the emphasis is on lectures. That is what you spend the majority of your time doing. It's just information overload. There are a lot of lectures, um, but it is manageable. So moving on to Tuesday. Oh, I had a lion. So usually if you don't have anything in the morning, it doesn't mean you just waste the day away. Like I would probably be catching up on lectures or doing various other assessment pieces that were due in. So this timetable may not look as bad as you think, but there's definitely always work to be done. So between two and six, I had numerous different things. So it looks like from between two and four, I had two more anatomy lectures. So I had overview of the digestive system and the bile and biliary system. So yeah, more, more anatomy. Again, very anatomy heavy in year one. Between four and five, I had a tutorial, which was about the autonomic nervous system pharmacology. Tutorials are basically smaller group teaching sessions where you're with a teacher or a professor and they will talk you through a worksheet that you may have had to work through before you attended the class. And it's just quite nice because obviously in lectures, especially at King's, there's 450 of us. So it can be a bit intimidating to ask questions if you have them, but tutorials are just way more intimate teaching sessions, which are much nicer. And then between five and six, I had an introduction to prescribing e-learning module. Again, in year one, we did a lot of e-learning. So you'd learn about basic things like how to prescribe, and you know different types of flu vaccines for example and a lot of this is delivered through the NHS portals the e-learning it just it never stops Wednesdays at university are always half days which is really nice because you can guarantee you have the afternoon off and that is because they set this time aside for you to do sports so Wednesday is typically the day where you do your sports activities if you're a part of a club so you may be doing rugby or hockey and then at each university generally on a Wednesday night they host this sports night and this is basically a kind of big night out where you go along with your respective sports team and you just you know let off some steam um de-stress and just have a good time so if that's something you're interested in you can definitely do that so on wednesday i had a patient scenario sam tyler uti as i said in year one you have a fair few clinical skill sessions and as part of that, we had these patient scenarios. So we'd be learning about like how to do a urine dipstick test, how to take blood pressure, and then they're put into context with a real life patient. And you are expected to volunteer in at least one of these sessions to demonstrate the skill. And then you have to write up like a reflection on it. So basically this session involved me talking to a real life actress um, who was playing the role of a patient with a UTI and I had to basically have a consultation with her and kind of get to the problem of why she was having problems with urinating. Um, so I'd have to demonstrate the clinical skill and then kind of consult her like you would. It's basically just a session where you're playing doctor and it's really fun because it kind of puts everything into practice and it really feels like, you know, this is what medical school is all about. These sessions can be quite scary, but they're definitely really, really good for my learning. Then I had, oh, who's shocked? Not me. 
more anatomy. Um, I had the salivary, gastric and pancreatic secretions and I had motility of the gut. I still have anatomy in year two, but it's a lot less and it's much less frequently than year one. And I think it pretty much, we don't have any from year three onwards. So I guess that's a good thing, but it kind of puts the emphasis on, you know, you have to understand your anatomy pretty quickly. Moving on to Thursday, we have a morning dissection class. So this is exciting. Dissection is an awesome opportunity and different unis offer different versions of dissection. So in Kings, we do cadaveric dissection and that means that we are dissecting a real life body that has been donated for the purpose of science and it's just an amazing opportunity. What a privilege. Um, but different universities may use to adopt prosection, which is basically where they've already dissected the specimens for you and you learn through that way. I personally think dissection is just the most unique opportunity. So I think that's maybe something you want to consider when you're choosing universities, maybe how they teach anatomy. You tend to dissect the same body throughout the entire year. So you sort of start with the skin and the fascia and then you get deeper into the internal organs. Yeah, I can't describe it. It's a really incredible opportunity. And it's actually a really nice kind of team working environment. Obviously it's quite shocking when you first do it. So it's really nice to have the support of your colleagues. And yeah, it was just great. I had an incredible anatomy teacher, so really, really thankful. Then between 11 and one, I had a blended learning microanatomy workshop. Essentially, this was just histology. And this is where you look at tissues under a microscope and you kind of try identify different pathologies. And it is not my favorite class. Um, I appreciate it's very important and useful to know, but these aren't my favorite classes and I had a fair few of them in first years. Then between three and four, I had economic evaluation of healthcare. Again, this was like an e-learning module that we just had to do in our own time. So overall, not too bad for a Thursday. And then moving on to Friday, I had a pretty nice Friday. So between 11 and 12, I had digestion and absorption of nutrients. So that was more of a physiology lecture. I really liked physiology in year one. I feel I feel like you have in general like people who love anatomy hate physiology or people that love physiology and hate anatomy and that was me <laughs> and then between 12 and 2 I had a, another microanatomy workshop about supporting digestion so that was again a histology class so I'd be completing a workbook throughout that class and that was pretty much it for the week. So for that week, I've just counted. I had two histology classes, one anatomy dissection class. I had eight lectures, which I don't know if that seems like a lot to you, but if you think each lecture is an hour long and you know, it just does take more than an hour to write up the notes. It actually is quite a long time when you think about it. So yeah, that is what my typical week in first year looked like. It's just basically a lot of lectures, a fair few tutorials, a lot of dissection, and an overwhelming amount of anatomy. Um, and then you also have your clinical skills sessions interspersed. In second year, I'd say the difference is I have more clinical skills. Obviously it's not really in person at the moment. I have more placement and the emphasis is on kind of clinical medicine at King's at least. So I do a lot less learning about kind of anatomy and sort of basic science and I do more about putting things into a clinical context in the context of disease. Honestly, first year it is quite overwhelming. The workload is pretty heavy and a lot of people say that, you know, if you can get through first year, you're going to be okay. Um, but it is just so much fun. Take every opportunity. I hope this video just gave you an insight into what medical school looks like. I would love to hear if any medical students are watching. Let me know what your timetable looked like in year one. Was it packed full of anatomy like mine was? And I do want to remind you once again that we are hosting a giveaway when we hit 2,500 subscribers. So make sure to spread the word and check back here so you can enter this awesome giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please make sure to let us know if there's anything you'd like to see from us in the comments down below. But other than that, I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!